One of the most intriguing concepts in science fiction is the prospect of extraterrestrial life, especially aliens. Since we developed into a spacefaring civilization, humanity has been looking for extraterrestrial life. What if the hyped up aliens are actually a future iteration of ourselves? What if they are highly developed beings from millions of years in the future who come to see us and learn about our timeline? It seems like a good concept, don't you think? Nonetheless, we'll attempt to make it credible in this video as well. Why is it possible for such a theory to be true? These aliens may have traveled huge distances through time rather than space. With the speed at which science, technology, and engineering are developing, it is certainly plausible that people in the far future may create the knowledge and tools necessary to travel back in time. Throughout the past few decades, unidentified flying objects have caught people's interest and imagination. Why not think about exoplanets visiting our Earth in their sophisticated aircrafts as we continue to research new and improved methods of identifying exoplanets? The Fermi Paradox and three explanations for why we haven't seen it were discussed in one of our movies, but one of the fundamental reasons is that the form of communication we are most familiar with and employ is electromagnetic waves, which travel at the speed of light. That is the fastest object that can move. Also, as the universe is expanding, it will be difficult for us to visit them or communicate with them across great distances unless we have advanced transportation technologies like warp drives. But what if these UFOs are indeed us, people from the future with highly developed knowledge of space, time, and technology? Such accounts of individuals having encounters with odd beings may be an example of how our descendants will be researching their own evolutionary past. Outside of the Earth, life as we know it is rare. Many exoplanets are still being studied in an effort to uncover life, and we may do so by the century's conclusion. Would it be intelligent like us is a different concern. It is exceedingly difficult to find intelligent creatures. On Mars or Europa, we might even discover microbial life, but they won't be clever. The evolution adds to the complexity of the plot after that. The origins and evolution of life on Earth remain a mystery. We're still working to figure that puzzle out. So, same limitations might also be applicable elsewhere. So, it is difficult to find life right now outside of Earth. But what about our ancestors, who would have discovered solutions to some of the most difficult issues relating to space and time, and who would be interested in researching their own evolution, just as we are interested in researching our own? They might go back in time to observe us. That makes more sense than discovering life in a remote region of the universe where its light cannot even reach us. Many people, including scientists, have found the subject of human evolution to be fascinating. Several studies are being conducted to learn more about the beginning of life and its evolution. Yet we do have a fundamental idea of how it has developed. Long-term evolutionary changes in humans have always occurred. At first, we were quadrupedal, which implies that we walked on four legs. But then, somewhere between six and eight million years ago, something extraordinary occurred. We got up and started walking on two legs, becoming bipedal. This is what set us apart from the majority of other planetary species. Many cranial alterations resulted from this evolution, the most significant of which was the flexing of the fundamental cranium of our skull, which provided our brain with greater room to expand and develop. We might observe further changes in our facial structures in the future if we take this type of development into account. Several people who have seen UFOs describe the aliens as bipedal, human-like entities with enormous brains, large eyes, and other characteristics. So, there is a significant chance that these aliens, who possess these advanced qualities, are indeed us from the future. We might receive a visit from these future humans to learn more about their evolution. It's simple to imagine how much could be discovered about our own evolution if we had the technology to travel in time right now. 
And with that said, if our future selves develop such technology, it might also open up travel opportunities for them. Surely, people will spend a lot of money in the future to travel through time and see many histories. This sounds intriguing, don't you think? But why would our ancestors travel through time to see us and study us? What specifically will we be able to provide them? Hence, one thing to keep in mind when we talk about these future humans is that they may exist thousands of years in the future. Our technology is evolving at a very rapid pace. It's challenging to keep up with. Take our phones as an example of how things have changed in recent years. Improvements, new software, and even new varieties of AI. Even the greatest archives and storage systems are unable to keep up with the volume of data being produced in this continuously changing environment. Our own knowledge of our forebears from thousands of years ago is limited. Even our knowledge of our grandfather's generation is limited. Due to the fact that the majority of it is lost and that they clearly lack technology. Today, however, we are unable to save everything, even with technology. Data loss has occurred and will continue to occur. Finding information from even 100 years ago is challenging since, in wartime, we frequently destroy historical sites such as archives, buildings, and monuments. It is therefore extremely conceivable that these items won't survive. We already experienced two world wars in the previous century, and at the moment, we are seeing small-scale proxy conflicts. Then there are issues like bio-warfare and pandemics. All of them pose a threat to humankind as well as to data. Then there is the biological information and the understanding of evolution that we can impart to these future humans. Nonetheless, this theory does not completely rule out the potential of discovering extraterrestrial life. Despite the size of our universe, scientists have not yet discovered any signs of alien life or even microbial life. There are many galaxies in this universe that resemble the Milky Way, and they may even have solar systems that resemble our own. Additionally, some of these stars may have planets comparable to our Earth, such as Kepler 432b, which resembles Earth greatly and contains water. SETI, or the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, is an organization tasked with locating proof of life elsewhere in the universe. Another group is MIDI, which stands for Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence. It is a very new endeavor. Sending communications to extraterrestrial beings in an effort to establish contact with them is its principal goal. Hence, if there are any sentient beings out there, we humans are already attempting to find them and establish contact. The bottlenecks that could stop civilizations from developing, like the impact of an asteroid on dinosaurs, are another possibility. A civilization could possibly end due to bio-warfare and nuclear conflict. But, taking into account the size of our universe, civilizations might still succeed. There are several factors to take into account. Anywhere life can exist, the major concern is whether or whether it is intelligent. A single cell first gave rise to life on Earth 3.7 billion years ago. Other areas could also be the origin of life. Will they be intelligent, though? Also, since they would need to have almost the same gravity as humans, being bipedal may not be likely. Humans already experience the drawbacks of being bipedal. Things like herniated discs, bad knees, horrible necks, etc. plague us. These are drawbacks of being a bipedal organism. The Earth's particular gravity is to blame for this. If gravity had been higher, we wouldn't have two legs. It makes sense that these aliens could be us from the future if we use this to explain the UFO phenomenon and sightings here on Earth. Yet, there is a crucial aspect of the theory that we haven't yet covered, time travel. Science fiction writers and physicists both like discussing the subject of time travel. With this theory, we've already built in the possibility that time travel will be possible in the future. Check out our latest, informative film on the subject as well. But going to a different timeline is the fundamental premise of time travel. Many scientists generally think it's impossible because paradoxes are involved. 
Einstein's theory of general relativity allows for the concept of wormholes, which is the most basic one for time travel. However, given our current technology and knowledge of natural laws, time travel is very difficult. We still have a great deal to learn about it. Nonetheless, we give the future people the benefit of the doubt in this theory as we are speaking about them millions of years in the future. It's an intriguing theory that the aliens could be future versions of ourselves. Several of you have probably read books and articles about ufology. But in some respects, this theory makes sense. Today's humans think that evolution is over and that we are all that remains. Nevertheless, that's not the case, is it? Typically, people think that because of nuclear war or global warming, we live in an annihilationist culture. Yet, if we were to look at our long-term evolution, if we survive that long, we might not look anything like we do right now. We do not assume that Neanderthals, Homo erectus, and Homo habilis had radically different appearances from us millions of years ago. And if we take this and extrapolate this evolution into the future, things might be different and we might have other features. We now conclude our discussion of this idea. After watching the video, what are your thoughts on this theory? For some people, it might make sense, but for others, it might seem absurd. Yet it's a fascinating fact. If they share so much in common, what if these encounters assume they are true or really us from the future? Comment below with your thoughts and let us know what you think.